there's a lot of discussions online about the Canon FD 35mm f2 concave lens. The legend says it's the sharpest 35mm f2 Canon ever made. It is said to be far superior to the convex version of the same exact lens. But after a lot of research, I couldn't find a single real comparison to check if the rumors are true. The first four versions of the FD 35mm f2 had a distinctive concave element and also included a radioactive glass element. These four concave versions are considered sharper at all apertures than any subsequent versions. To better understand the different versions of the FD lenses, let's watch a small clip from Media Division's amazing video about Canon FD lenses. Canon FD is a system introduced in 1971 and there were two major lens generations with subdivisions. The first series is called the chrome nose because they feature a chrome filter ring. They were the lenses to introduce the breech lock FD mount that replaced the older FL mount. The second series replaced the chrome filtering with a black ring and engraved the coating SC in white or SSC in red on the front of the lens. The third series changed the green outer aperture O to a green A and the chrome aperture ring lock button was changed from chrome to black. In 1978 Canon introduced the new FD series. Canon changed the design altogether, reduced the weight and switched to a bayonet mount that is still compatible with the older mount but doesn't have a locking mechanism. Let's compare the two versions of the same lens at minimum focus and wide open. As you can see here, the convex version has more chromatic aberrations. The concave version had an internal floating optical element to minimize fluctuation of aberrations. Now let's see sample footage of the two lenses and try to spot any real difference. Yes, the concave version is better, but for 99% of people watching your videos or your photos, the difference will be almost impossible to find. Both versions of this legendary lens are a fantastic opportunity to create amazing content, and you should not hesitate one second if you find a good deal. If you want to see more behind the scenes and mini tutorials, please follow me on Instagram.